welcome this is the energy for today july 2nd i hope you're doing well spirit what is the energy for today july 2nd what does the viewer need to see in here the unseen too much is hidden from you um that could be leading you towards a new direction seeing things that you're not familiar with or maybe don't want to see maybe you're putting a blind eye to something transparency maybe this is something that needs to be genuine in a sense of uh, living in the moment with honesty uh, experiments uh, so this could be a sense of manipulation maybe going through some kind of cruelty or um it's like in the pursuit of uh knowledge okay um that's what i feel that that's what that is and then this one right here so fertility uh potential power um this is definitely a sense of starting over so maybe there's something that you don't see that's trying to lead you to towards some kind of transparency it's definitely something that you could do some cleansing or get rid of some kind of negative energy that's hiding or or maybe you're not seeing it and it's almost like trying to see it through an honest way so you can get through some sort of manipulation or force um maybe some kind of cruelty you're involved in or something like that but in the end it's going to really bring a powerful kind of creative energy for you um at the top of the deck is the soul cage so it's very much escaping uh, from something and having like um, a sense of um, maybe you've been held back from something maybe you know that's definitely what I feel here it's something that holds on to you whether it's mindset or um, you know of course manipulation could be given to you towards uh, from other people um, you know but maybe breaking free from something by using honesty so as a means to getting out of it okay so welcome guys i hope you're doing well please like share and subscribe and for you guys that have given me donations thank you so much i truly appreciate you guys um definitely and please like share and subscribe hope you guys are doing well today the unseen what is this mean okay boy the king of cups came out in reverse and holy moly how many times does this king of cup keep coming out someone's going back and forth on their emotion um, maybe pretending not to see okay um queen of cups i'm sorry king of cups is very much that energy of you know very loving very tender but yet not being able to speak up not being able to voice these things maybe this is something that you're not seeing as far as um, intuition or spirituality uh, that needs to somehow be brought to the surface um you got the the nine of cups at the top of the deck and then the the three of wands um this is something that maybe you're hesitating a, a change or a move or uh, something like that what is the king of cups king of cups please oh he's stuck king of cups is stuck they said um king of cups please king of cups energy what is this so really stuck in a place where perhaps maybe they're being called to some sort of healing um you know to put down some kind of walls and and step forward from whatever pain or um whatever situation has been holding you back or maybe you feel like you've been hold, held back in it um there's very much this sense of leaving that turmoil and walking towards healing you know that's what this card is it's, it's about healing uh, the way you're going to get healing is by releasing it and um, perhaps becoming more spiritual, going down that that um, path. This could be someone that's trying to pull you into a sense of healing through mentorship or even love or, um, you know, something like this. There is a sense there of, of having somebody maybe even guiding you or, or a sense of uh, protecting you. Um, and then you got the Ten of Cups. So very dreamy i feel this energy is very dreamy maybe you don't understand that this person is still there for you okay if you've hurt somebody because there's someone else in this card whether you've been hurt by them or you hurt them there's a sense of um i get like um 
wondering, is it still there? Can I still have this love? Would they still love me? Will they forgive me? Um, this is something that is unseen to you. Um, you keep yourself in, in a, a sense of um, a bottled emotion because you're so stuck in your emotion. You're not coming out and having transparency. And there is someone here that can lead you into a sense of healing and perhaps um, spirituality where you have this awakening. Okay. Um, definitely. I, I want to know. Let's see. Let's see here. What is. Let's see what this nine of wands is. What's the nine of wands about? Uh, maybe you saw it and you turned your back to it. You know that you could heal or that you could let some kind of wall down. But yet maybe fear or a sense of not seeing the big picture somehow made you go back into a clam or you know um isolation or something like this what is the nine of wands please nine of wands it's this one right here so you got to walk away you got to walk away from whatever the situation was um if it's something that you did that hurt somebody you got to walk away from those feelings and see that there is potential to happiness outside of this hurt okay if it's meaning that you have to walk away from someone, a relationship, um, someone that you might be um, together with and you know that somehow in the pit of your stomach, you know that it's over, but you don't know what's going to be the outcome that could hold you back from moving forward and whatever the situation is for you. Um, what is the Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups in reverse. What's the Ten of Cups? Okay, so... Um, this has been going on for a long time um this back and forth kind of feeling uh there's a sense of not knowing if that love is still there do you walk away from the situation that you you're in now and then you get to that that place where you want to be happy with somebody but they're not there any longer um this is definitely telling you the opposite this is telling you there's a, a chance for some kind of um longevity or some kind of um perhaps your life partner your, your person that you've been waiting for or even not waiting for even though it's almost like you know they're there but in a sense you're scared to move forward is what i feel um i feel this person has gone through the sense of letting the wall down and then they put it back up letting the wall down and they put it back up um give me one more for the the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles what is this it, it, it's somebody who wants to leave a situation that's been very damaging but yet doesn't know if this ten of cups is still there waiting if that makes sense so th they're dragging their feet and the more they drag their feet it's a little bit longer and longer to get to the happiness you got the tower something coming down um, maybe there's a realization that you didn't see uh, that needs to happen as far as um, letting go of something that is not serving you any longer. It, the, the tower is something that just comes out very unexpectedly and it's not always a bad thing. It, it might at the very moment that it happens, it seems bad, but afterwards it's like you can only go one way and that is up. Um, it, so I definitely do feel you're in a situation that needs healing because you've lost a sense of um, security, a sense of knowledge, um, very much like this card. You you can't see straight because you hold yourself in darkness. Whoever this is, whoever this King of Cups is, give me one more for this King of Cups. He's very vulnerable. I feel like this person is very vulnerable at this moment. King of Cups, please. Give me one more for the King of Cups. King of Cups, please. I feel like they're, they're somewhat the kind of person, almost like the, the kind of person that can't speak up and see they're stuck in this mental thinking. With the devil, it's the feeling of um, not believing in themselves, uh, stuck in a, a situation where uh, if they just can't see the light from where they are, from where they are at, they can't see the light. Um, it's very much um, being stuck in, I feel it's maybe a codependent relationship, okay? Maybe just a bad kind of way of thinking with the devil, okay? Um, but yet, 
internally spirit wise they're they're being told to move away from it okay um allow things to see uh, allow yourself to see um things clearly um but we have the tower we have the eight of cups here i feel this person is like on a teeter-totter going back and forth not knowing what to do um but i do see major changes coming with the the knight of pentacles it's just taking a long time to be able to put that wall down to see everything clearly and um definitely that's what it, it, it feels like okay um let's see what is this transparency so you need to be genuine you need to be in the present don't live in the past um this is really about being your authentic self and being honest uh, so that you can create that happiness that you want that you don't think you could really grab um it, it's not that far it, it's it's almost like i could see you grabbing but it's not really that far for you to grab and reach it, it but yet in your mind you think it is it, it's almost like something you want so bad but you keep telling yourself nah that'll never happen that's that's the kind of procrastination it's procrastination that's what this is it's procrastinating um staying stuck in their head a transparency please what is this transparency okay so the seven of pentacles um, this is very much where, you know, you're at a roadblock, you're at a mind block. Nothing is growing for you right now because you're not being authentic. Um, give me more with the Seven of Pentacles and transparency. More with transparency and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so those two. There's a decision that needs to be made. Sorry, guys. Um, there's definitely a decision that needs to be made with the two of swords and the ten of um swords it's very much being stuck and that's why things are not progressing for you because there's a sense of being at a dead end um but it, it, it's almost as if you've got to look at it like like step back a little bit and and see the big picture versus feeling like you're just stuck and like that feeling that oh i'll never get what i want you know um, but yet, whatever this choice is that needs to be made, there is this energy of just not moving and, and not knowing how to move and asking yourself, um, how the hell did I get here? That's what I hear. It's like, how the hell did I get here? What can I, what should I have done different? Or um, something like that. But see, you're very much being called to walk away from that. Um, so that you can get some kind of balance or a sense of happiness in your life. What is it, Two of Swords? Two of Swords, please. What is the Two of Swords? Okay, so you have um, the Four of Pentacles. It's like you're holding back from taking action, okay? Um, Seven of Swords is a very tricky situation with the Nine of Swords. Um, as far as maybe withholding from yourself and then the Five of Swords, those are very difficult things. Uh, with the Two of Swords, it's almost like you hold on to something that you know it's not it's not uh it's not growing anymore there's not there's no more potential in there um so the decision that you need to make is really to let go of whatever it is you're holding on to um it's it's almost like you're not having success because you hold on to something that somehow grounds you into negativity whether this is another person for you um whether this is a situation as far as work or family it's very much a situation of being stagnant, but you're being asked to move away from it. See, surrender, surrender it, let go of it so you can have a new beginning. And then that's where you'll have your peace of mind and your victory. But the five of swords, it's very much weighing over your head. Like, how do I do this? How do I get out of conflict? Um, how do I turn my back to it? How do I do that? Uh, there's a lot of worry. Um, I definitely feel like there's a lot of worry associated with this with the nine of swords is there someone trying to trap you in this manipulation is is there um i feel like there's something that you're seeing now that you didn't see before and it's almost like that gut feeling that's telling you to move but there's something very dark that still holds on to you and you can't move forward um let's see what is the seven of swords What's the Seven of Swords? Someone's controlling you. 
it feels someone is controlling this king of cups um whether it's emotionally or someone else doing it to them um something like that see it, it, it it's like they're, they're trying to heal you the the universe the spirit god is trying to really guide you towards some kind of healing um maybe allowing love maybe self-love uh, into your situation so that you can become more grounded maybe take back your power you've given your power to someone here you've lost a sense of control um I think you see this now. I think the transparency is that it's hitting you blank in the face and you've made a mistake, I feel, okay? Um, that's definitely what I feel, but there's so much worry about leaving and taking action because someone's holding on. I definitely do feel that someone's holding on to you. This definitely could be you. This definitely could be your person. You have to take it as it resonates. It, it's very, um, it, it's a comp complex reading where they're really not telling me a lot um i just feel it, it's somebody who um they're finally seeing some sort of darkness but yet that darkness still very much holds on to them okay and what spirit's trying to do is to somehow wake them up and and to realize that you know you could still get some kind of balance maybe this is a situation um where you or them have done some really difficult things to people or <laughs> Um, made mistakes and it affected other people and you sort of beat yourself up for it um, that's what I feel that some of that darkness is with the devil maybe you beat yourself up or you don't have enough confidence or self-esteem to go forward or it definitely could be that you have somebody that you're tied to in your environment that causes a lot of havoc in your life and you're meant to move away from them and see there's the lovers so very much choosing um, so let's see what this experiment is. It's it's about manipulation of nature, okay? Um, forcing change, cruelty, and the pursuit of knowledge. Arrogance, it's like letting go. See, someone's holding on to a very negative pattern here with the Three of Swords. It's, it's um, it, it could be your partner. Um, I, I feel it's, uh, it's someone trying to leave a very dark person and it's causing a lot of heartbreak um there's a sense of um, a lot of sadness this person's very emotional at this time uh they might have not let all these emotions come to the surface but they're coming to the surface right now um this definitely could be this kind of um egotistical kind of energy where you're trying to break that pattern either this is your person or you that's going through this where you're trying to break that that heartbreak um this could be somebody who's dealing with a really big bout of depression okay and when depression hits it's like you just can't move it and you can't control it and it leaves you in this mindset of just loss and sadness and hopelessness um it also could be a third party situation that you need to move away from which i definitely got here with the nine of wands and the eight of cups and the tower card um what is the three of swords and definitely it could definitely feel like manipulation so um is this you wanting to somehow have a new opportunity uh with the queen of wands energy uh this is something that there is a new opportunity opening perhaps maybe making a better choice um than in the past Okay, but it's it's very much somebody who is sending some kind of um, or someone who's waking up to intuition or knowledge or um, seeing something better. Okay, um, let's see. Give me one for the Queen of Wands. Boy, they are just popping out today. So you want victory with this Queen of Wands. Okay, maybe this is where you end something. Um, as far as um, something that's very toxic and manipulative, needing to go towards something that is victorious, okay? Um, and with the Six of Wands, it, it's something that it, it's caused you a lot of a lot of upheaval, a lot of uh, stress going forward. Um, 
but there's a sense of having victory with this queen of wands and really wanting a new opportunity give me one for the seven of cups seven of cups please um that's that's the person that you're being guided to there's definitely a sense of feeling and knowing that you made a mistake maybe by uh, causing heartbreak to this person because i definitely do feel there's a sense of doing some kind of harm to somebody or you think you did some kind of harm that's not um it, it's the kind of thing where you feel like you can't come back from um but i feel that's just a feeling that you whoever this is is having um i definitely do feel that there's a sense of a strong connection a strong kind of sense of energy that um brings some sort of um, change in you as far as strength and uh just something you haven't used before in your life um courage strength um a sense of healing maybe somebody has really tamed the inner you your beast um oh my goodness i didn't see these okay so you have the the two of cups the death card the eight of i'm sorry the three of pentacles and the moon um this is really allowing these things whatever happened in the past it's like you're trying to allow these things to surface maybe working on them and and getting over them so you can get back to like a restored kind of um energy with this person i i definitely do feel like this is what you're being pulled toward you're being pulled towards this person that um gives you a really sense of um balance kind of healing energy um and you might have to work at it but it's like with the with the death card it's really transforming something for yourself where you gotta you gotta end of you gotta end something yeah i feel like this could be somebody i didn't want to go here but i, I definitely do feel like it's somebody who might be doing like um either wishing or dark dark work on somebody um from letting them go if that makes sense it's almost like if you have a twin what i feel is like their partner is very dark and they won't let them go they sort of have this this hold on them um that creates a lot of fear um it, it, it's i very much felt it with the seven of swords the nine of swords the five of swords the eight of wands the the holding on to you know um it, it could be somebody that you deal with that is somehow being manipulated m manipulated to stay in a situation but yet inside their 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 spirit and their soul is very much wanting them to see the truth and break that pattern you see um whoever this is it's very dark i feel like my throat is sort of closing up and somewhat scratchy um yeah i, I definitely do feel like they're, they're if this is your person they have someone um this is someone who who's um they're being held by a dark entity, whether it's like emotionally, it's through thinking bad, it's through manipulation, it, it's through somebody that carries that three of swords energy that they need to walk away from that holds on to them and creates fear with inside of them, you see. But I do feel like with the fertility card being last and, and all these emotional cards of this feeling of having somebody there there's a sense of breaking free from this okay so let's see um what is fertility and and this is a rebirth so maybe this is this person going through uh, not, not wanting to see all the manipulation that's been had in their life by maybe a partner you know um and seeing the truth now and it's it's very hard to face that truth you know it's almost like this person's been lying to the themselves but yet there is hope for a new love and and i definitely do feel like there's a choice here that was made uh, maybe they just didn't pick the right choice or maybe this is a chance at getting that 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 new opportunity okay um i feel the king queen of wands and this the seven of cups is wanting this new opportunity because there is a sense of having this emotional bond with somebody okay um so what is the fertility what's the fertility here 
What is fertility? Fertility, please. So, see? Look at that. Returning to somebody. Um, there is a big, a big um, uh, feeling of uh, overwhelming emotion. Um, you know, maybe holding on to this feeling. And yet, the person that's dark and holds on to them darkly knows that they want to return to somebody that is their soulmate or their kindred spirit or their twin you know um you see and and, and it's a sense it's like the person that holds on to them is very dark very manipulative and this person is really fighting to to break free from this it's like a chokehold you see um but there is going to be a change there's someone coming back there's someone for some of you that yes you're going to have a new cycle um and the empress so being able to start over again um it, it, very much i feel it's it's like twin flame i feel it's very much somebody who um, misses their twin flame and is at a loss without their twin flame and it, it's like they're having a lot of struggle um to come forward uh i feel like it, it's a lot of um holding back uh, because of what they put you through um, or maybe what you put somebody through um, but yet they keep themselves in a dark situation because they don't know if that opportunity is still going to be there um, it, it's a very tricky and complex I, I feel it's like there's so much going on in the head uh, but I definitely do feel that those nerves and those feelings of anxiousness and feeling trapped is being caused by another person the karmic partner that they need to leave okay um but i do feel this is something that is a great relationship that is going to happen in the future once this person really makes that decision to break free and at this point they could be um, maybe they're going to lose money maybe they're just out of a loss as far as emotion and thinking they don't know how to think um but they will i definitely do feel they're going to heal from this and start over okay they got to walk away from someone who holds them is what i feel um you know really dark force with this one um yeah let's see i want to know what is the conclusion of this story uh what is the conclusion for the story so coming back together okay definitely coming together making plans um manifesting it um really desiring to come together two of wands is very much you know that that for me it's like a tree that grows in together and you create one okay and you will have that victory and success whoever this is that needs to lay down those burdens they need to lay down those burdens because they keep them themselves in a place where they're not satisfied with life they're very much dark okay and this is definitely a twin flame that needs to be transformed and allow spirituality in which is what this nine of wands is it's it's very much this person that's trying to guide you into spirituality but someone else holds you back um in, in some kind of uh, you know maybe control or manipulation or something like that um but i do see look at that okay so you got the queen of wands here you got the king of wands here taking some kind of action and i feel like that is what's going to return for you um I, I definitely do feel that there's going to be some kind of action coming back for you with this. Uh, definitely. Whoever this is, they're going to take some kind of um, <clears throat> some kind of leadership. And they definitely do have to fight back a dark force, whether that is mentally, internally, or if it's another person. I feel it's another person. Definitely. Um, a dark karmic. It's a dark karmic situation is what I feel here. Okay. So yeah that's that's a hard one for me today um no no leave it don't do it don't you dare okay so let's see here uh, let's see <clears throat> what is the karmic cycle in, in this situation what's the karmic cycle in the situation so um intuitive understanding that's where they're starting to come to life and see things um you know feeling something with the king of cups coming out there what is the karmic situation and how will it end and what's the soul link what's the link between each other so um learning something new um that's what's going to lead this person to be able to leave any kind of darkness 
a, moving towards a balanced partnership, which is that two of cups and that six of cups. Um, and then a special knowledge and skills. So this is where they need to open up and see that transparency that's being laid in front of them. Okay. And a lot of stuff is being brought to the surface. This is definitely a dark entity that needs to somehow leave. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then beginning and a fresh start. So yeah, I do see it happening. Um, because this is a twin flame, there is a sense of maybe this hap this happening um, for your twin or for yourself where they're starting to put down some kind of uh, baggage um, that they've held on for a long time, but it doesn't allow them to have, um, you know, happiness in their life. I think they're starting to realize that uh, for whoever this is. And I mean, we do see the Eight of Cups. So I do feel that there's a search and we see the tower. My goodness, we have really powerful cards here. So whoever this is, they're going through a, a big change at this time. And then um, let's see, you have achievement and success, the end of a learning cycle, which is that karmic cycle, and then moving on, escaping. And that's what I feel this person needs to do is to escape something very dark and heavy. <clears throat> okay, I want to know what are these two souls telling each other today? What are the two souls telling each other today? Okay, so uh, let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. So I think that's what they're trying to come to some kind of grip to do that. Okay, it says um, love yourself as much as you love um, your soulmate. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. So, see, this is definitely a soul connection. Um, and there is a sense of perhaps you guys, you guys really like trying to heal each other, okay? Um, the leap of faith. Take a leap of faith in, in, into the unknown. They're very... I, I feel like a lot of the reason they don't leave is because they, they, they go back in their head of um, seeing the things that either they put you through or you put them through uh, where they don't know if you, there's a sense of not knowing how to forgive or not knowing if you'll forgive okay uh you let's see you learn the more loving care you give yourself the more love you have to give to others uh and then life is a great big canvas throw all the pain on it you can so it's like not the end of the world it's not the end of um you can start over you can you can definitely throw all that pain on that canvas if you want and start over and that's really goes with taking that leap of faith forward for whoever that is okay um what are the words of love for this reading words of love what do they need to see in here words of love okay so you have discernment you are developing the skill to dis distinguish love from fear and truth, from illusion. Oh my gosh, that's the reading. That's definitely all the whole reading. It's you're trying to be transparent. You're learning to be transparent and see the truth, which then will set you into this kind of fertile kind of um, being of you know coming back together with your twin. I, I definitely do feel okay. So very beautiful. What is the Kuan Yin message for today? Okay, um, and so it's this one right here let's see it says um grace within reach it's okay to it's okay to feel like a mess right now to feel that you need help and you want to resolve whatever has troubled your heart or mind my grace is with within reach as you ask for my help i shall shift i shall lift you into safety and peace now so this person is reaching out spiritually and um, I do feel like that spirituality is trying to come in. We saw the um, the prince, um, I'm sorry, the high priestess. So it's something that really needs to come out and follow their intuition and really let go with the death card and transform. Okay, so maybe they're halfway there, guys, I feel. So there you go. I do hope you like this reading. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome to this guided meditation prayer for protection against sickness and evil for yourself, for your family, and for the world. If you're guided here, it is for a reason. As a collective, if we do pray and stand together, 
we will banish evil that has been placed on this world. Allow yourself to focus on this light and just draw all your energy into this light. I will turn the music up so you can listen to it and let you hear it for a moment. In this time, just be in a meditative state with healing energy. Think about healing yourself, the world, the sickness that is happening in this world. Think about that. And then I will lower the music and say the prayer. Thank you so much, guys. Beloved Archangel Michael, I call upon you to connect with me and help me at this moment, now and forever. I ask that you and your band of angels unite together to protect the earth and its humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God strips all his fallen angels of their dark powers once and for all now and forever. May the ones who hold dark powers, the ones that have been able to rule humanity away from the one and only true God, the ones who have been creating animosity, fear, sickness, and blockages to God by distractions on this earth be stripped of their powers and omitted from this earth now and forever. May the truth that God holds be revealed and allow the earth to rule in peace, love, and harmony as God intended. I pray, Archangel Michael, that you surround me with your love, light, peace, and protection. Guide me, heal me, and bless me now and forever. I pray that you vacuum any negative thoughts, fears, phobias, procrastinations, ill health, sorrow and sadness, pain, worries, black magic, evil eye and fi financial blockages that, hold, that I hold within me. Cut any evil cords and remove these from me and replace them with white light instead. Convert my negative thoughts into positive thoughts, 
fears with faith, procrastination into proactiveness, ill health into health, sorrow and sadness into happiness, pain into relief, worries into peace, and financial blockages into abundance. Protect me now and forever. Heal and protect all who are sick in the world now and forever. Protect my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my children, and my neighbors now and forever. I thank you, Archangel Michael, and your band of angels for your love and protection and for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.